Welcome to God's Playbook with your host, Father Rico Passero. It's a 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Touchdown! Let's play ball. Welcome back to God's Playbook, friends. Today we're going to talk about another heavy hitter in regards to the saints, and that is St. Maria Goretti. St. Maria Goretti, at a very young age, recognized the importance of living a holy and chaste life before God. She's known as the patron saint of young women, and I suggest that all women, young and young at heart, look to her to help to lead lives that are pure and holy before God. Maria Goretti was born in Ancona in Italy in 1890. Her family was very poor and they worked on a farm. But her father died when she was very young. It was when Maria was 12 years old. Church tradition tells us that she was very beautiful. And she was being advanced by an 18-year-old neighbor named Alessandro. Alessandro wanted to engage in sexual activity with her, and Maria refused. Time and again, Alessandro advanced towards her, asking and expecting that sexual intercourse would follow, and he threatened to kill her if she did not submit to him. Maria made a very bold choice. She was unwilling to submit herself to his sexual advances and chose to live a holy life instead. Enraged by her refusal, Alessandro stabbed her several times. As he was stabbing her, Maria actively forgave him and she succumbed to her injuries on July 6, 1902, which is why her feast day is celebrated on July the 6th. Maria forgave him. Alessandro was sentenced to 30 years in prison for the death of Maria. And after his release, he sought and received forgiveness from her mother. Imagine both he and Maria's family lived to see her canonized in 1950 by Pope Pius XII. And she continues to be a powerful example even today for all of us. St. Maria Goretti, as a patron of young people, teaches us that God's law, especially in regards to sexuality, is something that we should take seriously. In giving up her life for her convictions, she teaches us that indeed the reward is great for those who love God. As the scriptures remind us, I has not seen nor has here heard what God has ready for those who love him. And so Maria Goretti is celebrated for her purity, her faith, and her convictions. Perhaps you might struggle with your sexuality. Perhaps the devil continues to tempt you or someone you know. For each of us, our sexuality is a gift from God, and yet the devil tempts us, both married, ordained, professed religious, and single people. Our sexuality is something that is to be seen as sacred and holy. Intercourse reserved for husband and wife through the sacrament of marriage for the procreation and education of children is something to be protected. Our church continues to teach this teaching of God, this law of God, and expects its children to abide by it. We also know, though, that sometimes temptations of pornographic images on the internet, undressing somebody we find attractive with our eyes as we work with them or see them on the street. These are all daily temptations that so many of us face. And yet, 
if we were to call upon the saints like Maria Goretti and ask their intercession to help us to grow in holiness, perhaps then we would have the strength and the grace to overcome these temptations and live lives that are pleasing before our God. Maria was just a child. We should not give excuses as to why we perhaps give in to these temptations. Rather, look for ways to overcome the temptation. Whenever I think of St. Maria Goretti, I'm so proud of somebody at such a young age that was able to show such courage and strength Indeed, one of our Catholic superheroes, and somebody in whom Jesus is very well pleased with. May we all seek her intercession and ask St. Maria Goretti to not only help our young women, but all women and men to live lives that are pleasing before God. St. Maria Goretti, pray for us. For God's Playbook, friends, I'm Father Rico. God loves you, and so do I. If you like what you hear, please consider supporting us using any of our affiliate links in the description below via Budsprout, Ko-Fi, or GoFundMe. Thanks, and God bless.